Hi. Repair rack. Uh, well, there's a couple of repairs laying in there, but these are uh, these are all Davenport shotguns. And uh, I, I don't know if Michael said anything about this, but I now own over a hundred uh, Davenport firearms, single shot rifles, double barrel shotguns, single barrel shotguns. And these were uh, made by a uh, relative of mine in uh, Connecticut in the late 1800s. W.H. Davenport Firearms Company was around for about 25 years. And they were there in the gun belt, as we call it, where all the water power was to work the machinery there in the Norwich, Connecticut. He started with Hopkins and Allen and uh, had more patents for Hopkins and Allen than any other engineer. He's actually the one who invented the automatic ejector on the shotgun. And uh, then he went off on his own and when he sold the company to his son, he, was, he died as a consultant for Colt. And so anyway, I'm not a direct descendant, but I know how I am related. We're, uh, we're uh, cousins, you might say. And uh, so anyway, I own over a hundred of those and some of them, some of them work and I've <laughs> shot squirrels and trap with, with a few of them, but I'll, we'll go back around here and I'll show you some of the other repairs. Um, of course, I've got a lot of manuals on the bookshelf. You can never get enough information. And these little rimfire rifles in the cabinet here. Yeah, I think I got them in the camera already, but uh, I wasn't aware of that one up there. It was an 8 gauge. You don't see those often. And that is a, uh, that's one of the Davenport shotguns. It's an 8 bore, 8 gauge. And uh, it has our, it has an interesting butt plate on it. And the story behind that are the Davenport, the Davenport family, we all came from one place in England. Uh, the uh, uh, Norman invasion, there was a group of people there, and a lot of people didn't have last names, but they lived at the port by the River Dane. That's where the name came from, Davenport. They lived by the port at the River Dane. So anybody that's come from, uh, from, come from England and their name is now Danforth or Danford, they were actually at Davenport in England. But uh, uh, when the uh, Norman invasion took place, he gave that family that was li living there uh, the authority to be the game wardens of one of the royal forests called Macclesfield Forest. And uh, most English names and some European names have a uh, coat of arms or family crest. And the Davenport coat of arms or family crest is a man with a noose around his neck because the <laughs> Davenports had the authority to hang trespassers and poachers of Macclesfield Forest. And I didn't know how many people knew that, but when I started collecting and researching uh, old cousin Davenport's shotguns that he made, just like Browning has grade one, grade two, grade three, and all of that, uh, Davenport also had that as well. And he had what he called his crest gun, which was his highest value gun, the crest gun. And the reason for that is it has the Davenport crest on the butt plate, the man with the noose around his neck. And so I thought it was cool that he knew about that history as well. So you can come in here. We're not just trying to sell you something. It can be kind of a museum and uh, of sorts, nothing real, you know, uh, extremely valuable, but valuable to me. And we love to talk about guns and collect guns. And so it's it's a... I like to call it what I remember as a kid, your old school gun shop, and we're in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Wanted to show that to you. <laughs> no, it's not often that you see something that's an 8 gauge. No. 10 gauges are n not all that uncommon, but. Yeah, I've got a couple of shells here. Here is a, an unspent Winchester. And here is a brass uh, Remington UMC, and then here is a uh, an Ely eight gauge. And you stick a twelve gauge in that. Uh, well, let's see. I'll, I've got a this uh, this shell here. It's got my name on it. This dummy on there. <laughs> There's a dummy round, and uh, you you compare it to the the uh, 12 gauge and there's quite a difference right there so yeah it's kind of neat to have somebody's ass if it kicks and I, and I always say I'll never know I'm, I'm not going to shoot it I don't yeah. want to find out <laughs> yep sometime I'll have to bring my lever action 10 gauge in for you to look at Ooh, Winchester 1901 Winchester yep. it's not really what you'd call a good collectible gun uh, somebody's uh, 
chop the stock and put a, a rubber pad on it so it's kind of ruined the collector value, mm -hmm. but uh, it works well enough. Yeah. They were strong 